dear all uh, in this video you will be you will be understanding the most important questions which you can expect for the university examination for the subject field theory in some university uh, we call it as electromagnetic wave as well so either field theory or electromagnetic wave it's applicable for almost all the circuit branches clear so uh, we will understand the first of all we will figure out what are the major topics which you are supposed to cover later on we will be discussing the complete uh, overview of module one if you go through this video i am damn sure that you will be clear in the examination with a very good score so i'll be guiding you how to uh, prepare for the examination okay so you refer only this 100 percentage success is guaranteed yes as you can observe these are the important topics let me figure out first so you'll be uh, you, you are supposed to focus on the first very simple topic coulomb's law which you already discussed in your plus two classes Coulomb's law in the vector form, that is uh, newly you are going to learn. Then electric field intensity definition, then uh, like uh, equations, all the things you are supposed to remember. Then electric field due to continuous charge distribution. This you can expect in the form of a derivation. Okay, derivation. Similarly, another derivation is electric field due to volume charge distribution and surface charge distribution. Any one of the to uh, topic you can expect as a derivation. Then electric field due to uniform charge wire. Then electric flux density. Also, you can expect some numerical examples. So these are the most important topics you are supposed to cover. Now, I'll be showing you the notes and how to prepare everything I'm going to show right now. So please stay, uh, like, stay focused. So moving on to the further discussion. So please make a note of these topics which you are supposed to learn for the examination. These are the unavoidable topics. All right. Now, I'll be showing you the notes uh, which will be helping, helping you to identify uh, the exact point which is required for the university examination so you know the coulomb's law so definition okay what is coulomb's law that definition is important fine uh, then uh, you know the basics of charges fundamentals you are supposed to go through that uh, like uh, like uh, un unlike charges track like charges repels those basic rules you should, you should know the basic things which you already studied in your plus two classes then the Coulomb's law, statement of the Coulomb's law that you have to remember because examination you may get the question like the state and explain Coulomb's law. So uh, in electrostatic force, F between, uh, if it is F represented by the electromagnetic force F between two point charges Q1 and Q2 is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to square of the, uh, square of the distance between two charges and it acts along with the joining of two charges. Ultimately, you have to remember one formula that uh, let me point out so that you will understand clearly. Yeah, this formula you are supposed to remember. F, F is equal to K into Q1, Q2 divided by R square. F is directly proportional to product of Q1 and charges to Q1 and K2, Q2, magnitude of charges. And it is inversely proportional to distance between the charges. As the distance between the charges increased, the force between the two charges that will be reduced. So this uh, inverse relation you have to remember. Also, the direct relation, uh, F, uh, F is directly proportional to Q1 and Q2. What is K? K is nothing but 1 by 4 by epsilon, where epsilon is not a, no, known as absolute per, uh, absolute permeability. Okay, epsilon naught. The value also you have to remember. Uh, in the numerical example, you may get a value. Sometimes they will give the value, but I am not sure. Uh, if you if you are planning for competitive examination, they never give the value. But university exam and all, I think they will give the value. All, all right. This you are supposed to remember. Sometimes you may get a theory questions. Then vector form, Coulomb's uh, law in vector form. So how to represent the Coulomb's law in vector form, that also you have to remember. For example, F12, look at this. Q1, Q2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 R square into AR12. This is actually the vector representation. What is vector? Quantity which has magnitude and direction. So what is AR12 unit vector Ma, uh, like uh, R, uh, R12 divided by modulus of R12? Understood or not? These are the modulus, unit vector. How to represent the vector divided by modulus? That is called a unit vector. These are AR12 is a unit vector. Hope you understood. Like, likewise, you can represent F21. Okay. Ultimately, when there is a conclusion like F21 will be equal to negative of F12. This point you are supposed to remember. Of course, problem without problem uh, because there is no it's a meaningless. Do understand that. So uh, these are the numerical examples you can expect for the for four marks question. You can uh, expect you can work out once. So if you want, you can post the video and they get another get the answer. So kindly verify the given data. Use the formula. This formula is very important. Then it's a vector form. No, so you have to calculate uh, the uh, the vector divided by modulus that you are supposed to calculate. So there are so many numerical examples. I request you to go through that. Draw the necessary diagram. 
uh, then uh, you have to calculate the following like uh, read out distance between two charges okay r the vector force uh, on uh, the charge at p1 vector force on charge at p2 that you are supposed to calculate independently so uh, this point you are supposed to remember okay I think it's clear to everybody. Likewise, you prepare some other question also. Like uh, four point charges of each of 10 mu C micro coulomb are placed in the free space at the point. So look like in this fashion, they have arranged it. You can uh, draw the diagram and uh, uh, determine the force on the point charges of 30 micro coulomb. So the, if you draw the diagram properly, you know, definitely you, you can fix the answer. You can easily move on to the answer. If possible, you pause this particular video and you can uh, uh, verify the answer is correct or not. This also you are supposed to remember. Next is definition of electric field intensity. What is the meaning of electric field intensity? De define electric field intensity. Okay. See, look at this. Electric field intensity, you can uh, get the equation like a Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 R square into unit vector AR. So, field due to many charges. Okay. Uh, summation you are supposed to take. See, summation. Otherwise, you can write like a Q1 by R1 square A R1, Q2 by R2 square A R2. Like that also you can represent. Similarly, electric field intensity due to continuous charge distribution. So, theory type question you can expect, but in numerical, I'm not sure. Then, uh, electric field intensity due to point due to line charge distribution. This may ask in the form of like a derivation, simple derivation. Even volume charge distribution, the surface charge distribution, uh, you can uh, expect in the form of like a uh, simple derivation. Okay. Equations are almost similar only, but uh, you remember the conditions. That's very important. For example, uh, dou V, charge per unit volume. That is called a dou V, rho V, rho V. Okay. So, similarly, surface charge uh, distribution. You define this definition. Rho is equal to dQ by ds. From this, you substitute accordingly. Ultimately, in the electric field intensity equation is already derived. So, if you substitute, you will be getting the answer like uh, Rho s by 4 pi epsilon uh, integral ds by r square ar. So, I request you to make a, a particular table like uh, for the three, three cases you are supposed to mention. Electric field intensity due to point, uh, point, uh, point uh, due to uh, line charge distribution number one. Volume charge distribution number two, then surface charge distribution number three. Likewise, you prepare a separate table so that it will be helpful for uh, revising during the examination. The, of course, there are numerical examples. This you can expect it. In the even competitive examination, also you can get it. Remember the formula, that's all, and uh, write down the given data, do the calculation accordingly. You should know the basics of vector, that is very important. Okay. Similarly, electric field due to uniformly charged wire line charge. Okay, this is also very important. We can uh, expect the derivation, simple derivation, uh, like a uh, six mass question. Okay, ultimately that uh, equation you have to remember. Suppose if you cannot remember all the steps, at least uh, try to remember the final equation. That's most important. Diagram and equation at least you can remember so that you will be getting 40%, 30 to 40% percentage mass you will be getting. You can plan accordingly. Okay, you can memorize, you try to memorize it. The numerical example, of course, you can expect. Okay, these are the numerical example. Read the question, mark the point, then use the formula E1, electric field intensity. Okay, you should know what is a unit vector. Okay, so accordingly, you have to proceed further. Okay, so this is very important. You plan accordingly. And uh, there are so many numerical examples. I request you to read the question. Then you can pause this particular video. And uh, of course, you can reach the answer. You can verify whether it is uh, right or correct or not. You can verify. Of course, it's right only. Yeah. So then next is actually electric flux density. What is the meaning of electric flux density? It's also known as electric displacement density. Definition. Flux lines start from the positive charges and end to the negative charges. You might have studied about the mapping, electro electric ele electromagnetic, uh, how the tra tra movement of electromagnetic waves. Okay. Density of flux is proportional to strength of the field. Flux uh, lines directions are identical so, to the electric field. That also you have to remember. Then formula. Uh, dou d psi by ds okay that's a formula then relation between d and e okay there is a relation you have to remember the relation d is equal to epsilon zero e that is very important you can get a small derivation like four mass question you can expect what is the relation between d and e that you have to remember fine then numerical example try to work out the numerical example okay so please uh, try to work out the numerical computation of psi then electric flux density okay uh, two point charges positive and flux lines are uh okay negative uh, this one you are supposed to remember okay okay these are the important questions uh you can follow up okay similarly e due to finite sheet charges that also you can go uh, go through go through it that's all
So we we have to cover these topic mandatorily, and I just guided what are the things you are supposed to prepare, how to prepare. So thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the very best for your examination. Thank you.